Hi everyone, I'm Raul from Cambridge Spark and in this short video I uh, just want to show you how you can get started with using Amazon EMR so you can have a play and uh, try a tutorial where you have to analyze 100 gigabyte of, of data. So Amazon EMR stands for Elastic Map Reduce. It's a pretty cool uh, tech. It essentially lets you configure a cluster of machines in the cloud that have uh, software set up by default including uh, Spark which is what we're going to use to do the data analysis and also Zeppelin which is a sort of a nice little, little notebook which lets you type queries and visualize the, the output of those queries. So to get started you're going to need a AWS a account so I'm logged in in my own account and you will see a service called EMR so just uh, click on that and you'll be brought to a page where you have a list of clusters which you've set up already in the past so you can see already here I've used quite a few before but to get started you create a cluster you give it a name so we're gonna call it uh, the Cambridge Spark cluster fantastic and you can now configure your cluster with sort of default software that will be installed and we're going to select the last one here, Spark, which will be used for expressing the data queries, and Zeppelin, which will be this notebook where you can write your own queries. So that's fantastic. The next step is to decide what kind of machines you want to have. So let's go crazy here. Let's go for an M3X Large. Great name, but all that means is that it'll have a lot of RAM, 16 gigabyte of RAM. So that's quite a lot of power, but... um. Let's go one step further. Let's take 16 machines. You know, just at a click of a button, you have a lot of power. Finally, you need to set up your uh, EC2 key pair key here so that you be able to SSH uh, to this machine. So I'm using my own key here, but obviously you'll have to use your whatever key you've set up with your AWS account. So let's create a cluster. Now this will take a, a few minutes. So um, just wait for a moment, go grab some coffee, and when that's ready, we can start typing some queries. So after a few minutes, you should have your cluster ready to go. So a couple of ways to, to check this is to go to your EC2 dashboard, and in my case here, you'll see I now have 19 running instances. So 16 of them are from the cluster that I've just created. So something else you'll see is that you've got a couple of links available here. One for Ganglia, which is really cool. So that's going to give you some monitoring information about your cluster, including things like the CPU usage and the memory usage. You can see here we have a, ooh, very exciting, 64 CPUs in total. Now, how can we use all that power available to us? Well, you can do that using Zeppelin. And Zeppelin is that notebook where you'll be able to type queries and they're going to be executed over that cluster. So let's create a, a new notebook here. We're going to call it the Cambridge Spark uh, notebook. Let's go ahead and, you know, just to get a feel for it, let's uh, revise our, our maths. You know, I'm sure everyone is really wondering what 1 plus 2 is. And we can see 1 plus 2 is 3 immediately. So this acts a little bit like a repo. You type some information in and you get some output. Now to use PySpark you need to uh, type the, the, the following line and then what we're going to do is to load up this humongous file, so 100 gigabyte, and parse each line as a JSON entry. And what we're going to do next is just to count how many entries there are. You know, We just want to find out how many books we have available in that data set. So let's execute this query. Let's run it for a little while until we get a, a result. So as the query is uh, being processed, what you can see by looking at Ganglia is that the CPU activity is definitely shooting up as we are performing this query, as well as the uh, usage of the total memory available in that cluster. And fantastic, it's finished, and we can see we have uh, over 100 million uh, entries in this data set. So, pretty cool stuff. So, you should be um, ready to get started 
with the, the tutorial and feel free to try the different queries available but EMR is really cool essentially you have a lot of power available at the click of a button so really useful for different experiments that you want to conduct in terms of data analysis now if you're interested in learning more do check out our website cambridgespark.com we have uh, different courses available including big data analytics it's all in UK and we also have a six-month program which is delivered as a, a part-time course over weekend if you're interested to uh, become a data scientist.